Well, at this time, I have the great joy of welcoming to our set Emmanuel Gonzalez, most simply known as Manny. He's a dynamic Catholic evangelist who speaks on the sensitive topic of homosexuality, and I'm grateful to call him a friend. Manny, thank you for being here today. Hey, Manny. God bless you guys. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. No, of course. Thank you for taking the time. And, you know, Manny, you and I have been able to share your story a little bit on my YouTube channel for A Message of Hope. And also, I've been seeing through social media the work that you're doing. But for those that have never met you before, you are currently in the graduate program at Franciscan University in Steubenville, Ohio, where you and I went to undergrad together. What are some of the doors that have opened since you being there as an undergrad and now as a graduate student, especially with your ministry? Yeah, great question. Fire me up, Barons. First of all, Franciscan <laughs> University, you got to represent. Yes. Um, so for me, I would say specifically um, being at Franciscan University, I mean, obviously, Franciscan University, um, first of all, has some of the greatest theological minds, um, arguably, right now in the church, in the Western church. And so I've had the privilege of being able to be catechetically formed as a master's student in catechetics evangelization um, by some of these great minds here. Um, at Franciscan, which has been a, a great joy and has obviously contributed to my um, ministry in terms of just being able to um, grow in that knowledge of our faith and the deposit so that we can defend the truth and defend what the magisterium of the church teaches in ways that are true, good, and beautiful. Um, so that has obviously been a huge blessing. Um, but as well as that, I actually am very, very just humbled and privileged um, to be spearheading a movement on our campus um, that by the grace of God, our president and faculty and staff are fully supportive of, um, which is called Integratus Ministries. It is a ministry that we offer on Franciscan University's campus for our students who experience same-sex attractions and desire to live holy, chaste lives according to Catholic Church teachings on human sexuality. Um, I founded it with my friend, Brittany, about three years ago. And by the grace of God, we are now an official, fully funded, fully sponsored ministry and resource on our campus, um, which is pretty monumental for a Catholic campus to have a ministry specifically for this part of the student body um, that is not necessarily, you know, what the world is expecting, um, but is in accordance with the church and her teachings and is here to provide um, holy community and support and prayer for our students in this particular walk of um, their journey with the Lord um, to just find sainthood and to pursue sainthood in their respective journeys. Um, and so I, I lead that and it is an absolute gift and a privilege and honor and if you could please keep us in your prayers, that would be greatly appreciated. But so those are the main the main blessings right now at Franciscan. That so. we will keep you in our prayers. And uh, Manny, not only you are a student, but you do have this uh, significant ministry. I don't know how you keep it all together. But when you travel, um, your talks are, are focused, I know, on identity, on homosexuality and, and the faith. So what's the message that you try to bring to people at, at each one of these events? Yeah, Bishop. Um, it's funny that you say, how do you keep it together? Grace. <laughs> like, that is it. That is honestly it. Um, but I would say, you know, the main message that I hope, you know, that the Lord is able to deliver through me and my witness with the various stages I speak on around the country and around the world and is um, just the reality of um, the goodness that can be found and that is found, not can be found, I'm sorry, excuse me, that is found in the Catholic Church and her teachings on human sexuality. Um, I'm a man myself who experiences same-sex attraction. Um, I, for a hot minute in my life, I'm 24 now, but in my early teen years, um, I actually left the church and pursued what the world had to offer me. Um, I've been back home in the church for almost five years now, and I personally attest to the freedom and the joy and the goodness that is found in the Catholic Church and her teachings on human sexuality. Um, is it easy? No. Um, but sainthood isn't easy. That's, being a disciple isn't easy. Um, what I'm here to proclaim and to witness to is the reality that the Catholic Church not only is where freedom is found in Jesus Christ, um, but also it is our home. That those of us who experience this extraction, the Catholic Church is not homophobic. The Catholic Church is not against you. The Catholic Church is arguably the only institution in the world that is actually for us and is inviting us into real, authentic love and encounter with authentic love, who is the person of Jesus Christ. Um, and so I'm here to just attest to that and proclaim the freedom I found and invite others into that freedom as well um, in the church and her teachings and all that she has to offer us in her deposit and her, her sacraments and the community she provides us. Um, 
she's waiting with open arms and I'm here to just invite others into that embrace, so. Manny, that's wonderful to hear. And, you know, it's important work that you are doing, but especially for those at home, for myself, for anyone else who may be watching, how as a whole, all of us Catholics, how can we begin to love our brothers and sisters in Christ who are part of the LGBT plus community? How can we love them better? How can we support them well? And then also call them on to the, the freedom and the identity that Christ has placed upon them. How do we support them well in that? Yeah, absolutely. The golden question right now, it yeah. seems, in society and in the church. Um, I think for starters, um, we need to be less afraid of encounter. Um, as Catholics, as disciples, uh, we cannot be afraid to, as Pope Francis says, right, go out and to, go out into the peripheries of the culture. Um, we cannot be afraid to encounter these individuals um, in daily life. And what I mean by that is not being afraid to um, have friendships with them, to have relationships with them. Um, if you have family members who fall into this category, who might not be living lives according to the church and what we believe to be true as Catholics, um, not being afraid to still have relationship, to still try to maintain relationship despite disagreements, um, being able to have that dialogue, being able to still reflect the love of Christ, even people who don't agree with us, um, because that's the starting point. And I think that is where, for me in my own life, I encountered the love of Jesus so tangibly when I wasn't in the church, was those individuals who I knew loved the church, who I knew loved Christ, and who I also was confident loved me because they weren't afraid to speak to me. They weren't afraid to reach out. They weren't afraid to maintain friendship. Um, and so I think first and foremost, not being afraid to encounter, not being afraid to listen, um, to meet these individuals. Um, having a friendship with these individuals doesn't automatically mean that we are, you know, being omissive. It doesn't mean that just because you have a friendship with somebody who identifies as gay, um, that you are somehow supporting, you know, the way that they're living or, you know, like sometimes, you know, we don't need to overthink those things. Um, the mere encounter is important. It's essential. Um, I believe this, this one quote, I don't remember where I heard it from, but it's, I think, just so applicable to this, um, is for the gospel message to be heard, the person listening first needs to be heard. Um, and so I think that is the key of, for us to be able to deliver the truth of the gospel, which is the love of Jesus Christ and the freedom that he invites us all into. Um, first and foremost, we need to be able and be willing and be humble enough to listen um, to these individuals, to their stories, to um, their experiences, um, be able to sit with them, meet them there. Obviously, um, we meet each other in our messes and we don't let ourselves stay in those messes, um, but we meet each other in our messes like the Father does. And I think not being afraid to have those initial encounters are very important. So. Many, many, just don't be afraid. Rely on God's grace. Thank you for the good work that you're doing. And where can people learn more about that work? Yeah, thank you, Bishop. Um, so you can find me on social media. Um, my social media page is at Call Me Manny with two extra Y's at the end of Manny. Um, along with that, you can also visit my website, www.whatabeautifulcross.wixsite.com slash website. If you also Google search Manny Gonzalez, Catholic or Manny Gonzalez, What a Beautiful Cross, um, my work comes up. I've been on different podcast shows, videos online, so you'll be able to find my work there as well. Oh, I'm we'll ask find again you. Don't you all... worry. We'll find <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you so much Thank for you, uh, your time today, for being with us, the good work that you're doing. And, uh, you know, any friend of Monet is a friend of ours. So have a great Holy Week and Happy Easter to you, sir. Thank you, Manny. God bless you. Okay. God bless you guys. Thank you. God bless you.